everybody. In this video, we're going to talk about the last type of transformation, which is scaling. Okay. So what is the type or what is scaling of a graph? So scaling a graph is changing the size of that graph without changing the overall shape of the graph. I want to emphasize that you don't move the graph, right? So it's not like translation where you're picking up and moving the graph, but or like reflection where you're reflecting it to point a different direction, but you're actually going to change the size of the graph. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at again the two different types of scaling so we have um, the up and down type of scaling okay which again is going to come from being outside the main function or the base function right with every type of transformation if something is outside of the base function, it's affecting y, and if it is inside the base function, it is affecting x, okay? So this would look something like a times f of x. And our example with our y equals x squared is something like y equals 3x squared, right? The other type of scaling would be left and right scaling. Okay, and this would be coming from inside the base function. Okay, that's going to look like uh, f of a x okay. and with our y equals x squared example that's going to look like y equals 2 x squared okay now with these i really want to talk about how this affects the key points, okay? So for the first example, um, we're actually in our class, we are only gonna focus on scaling the y coordinate, right? So what happens when we scale the y coordinate? This is gonna multiply the y coordinate of the key point by a, okay? It's a little bit different for the scaling of the x coordinates Okay, but like I said, for us, we are going to focus on scaling the y coordinates. Okay, so let's see a couple examples of this in action and we'll look at how we can use this to graph. So we're going to go ahead and look at a couple examples here. So let's start with 
y equals 4 times the cube root of x. Okay, so just like always, the first thing we want to do is determine what our base graph is going to be. So if we're looking at our base graph, here in this example, the base graph is going to be y equals cube root of x. Okay, so let's go ahead and show our base graph. Okay, so this base graph has the key points negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1. Okay, and it has this flattened out S shape. Okay, so again, our key points are negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1. Okay, so our transformation is going to be multiply by 4. Okay, and what that's going to do to the shape of that graph is it's going to make it four times as tall. Okay. It is going to stretch out the y coordinates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave my x coordinate alone and I'm going to multiply my y coordinate by four. So negative one times four, negative four. Okay. Again, I leave my x coordinate alone my y coordinate gets multiplied by 4. So 0 times 4 is 0. And then my last point, exactly the same. I leave my x coordinate alone, it's 1. And my y coordinate gets multiplied by 4. So 1 times 4 is 4. Okay? So let's draw in these key points. So I have negative 1, negative 4. I have 0, 0, and I have 1, 4, okay? So my graph is still going to have that S shape, but it's going to be very stretched out so it's really tall now, okay? All right. Let's see another example of this. So my graph is y equals abs one half absolute value x. So I'm going to pick out my base graph. In this example, it's y equals absolute value x. And then I'm going to go ahead and draw my base graph. Okay. So I know that my base graph has the key points negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, and 1, 1. Okay, and I know that it has that V shape. Okay, so I'm going to draw in my V shaped graph. Oops. Okay, now let's look at how this is different than the normal graph, right? I have this one half here. Okay, so I'm multiplying by one half. So that is going to make my graph half as tall. All right, so this should make the graph look shorter and fatter. Now, again, my key points were negative one, one, zero, zero 
and 1, 1. Okay, so I am going to take my key points and I'm going to multiply the y coordinates by 1 half. So I have negative 1, 1 half, right? Negative 1, 1 half. Here I have 0, and then I'm going to multiply my y coordinate by 1 half. So 0 times 1 half is 0. And then here, x coordinate stays the same. y coordinate gets multiplied by 1 half. So 1, 1 half. Okay, so I'm going to mark my key points 0, 0. Right, sorry, negative 1, 1 half, 0, 0, and 1, 1 half. Okay, so my graph is going to look like this. Right? Compared to the original graph, it's much wider and it's much shorter. Okay. All right. We will continue this in class, so I will see you guys there.